Hello everyone, this video lesson for algebra is the, is, begins the fifth set of video lessons, and the fifth set focuses on word problems, and I call this number 5A because it's the first in the set, and we begin word problems by talking about the relationship between distance, speed, and time. That relationship, or these types of word problems, come up a lot, not only in real life, but also in standardized tests and textbooks, so I want to make sure that we have these types of word problems down. Let's go straight to an example. Hit the pause button if you need to, to read this. Okay, I'm going to assume that you've done that, and you can see that we're talking about how you can figure out how long it's going to take you to drive based on the constant rate that you're driving at and how far you're traveling. That relationship between distance, speed, and time is represented here, but this is not an easy thing to memorize, and you really do have to memorize this relationship between distance, speed, and time in order to solve these problems um, confidently and quickly. I recommend that you think about a triangle, the distance, speed, time triangle. It's often abbreviated as simply the speed triangle. Um, in fact, um, inside that triangle, you're going to find distance on the top, this is a dividing line, and speed times time. And this is that relationship. Between the three, speed times time will give you distance, or um, distance is always divided by one of the two. You'll see what I mean as I go through this example. Um, it's easiest to remember this setup, this triangle, if you change the name from the speed triangle to the speed triangle. I don't get credit for this idea. It actually goes to a middle school math teacher, one of my students, had had in her um, previous history, and I don't unfortunately know the name of that teacher. But the basic idea, well, let's apply it back to that problem that we were given. Um, you can see that you're asked how long it's going to take, and that's where you start with this triangle. Figure out what you're being asked. How long is a time question? So what you can do is cover time up. You'll notice that what you're given particularly if you look at the units, are speed and distance. The distance is the 270 kilometers, the speed is the 108 kilometers per hour. So you've got distance and speed, you want to know time. Time is going to be equal to distance divided by speed. This is how that triangle really helps you. It sets it up for you. If you know that distance is always on the top and speed and time are always on the bottom, and are always multiplied by each other, uh, it becomes pretty easy to solve these problems. Okay, so now you've got your question, time is equal to distance divided by speed. Well, the numbers for that are 270 for distance and 108 for speed. Make sure you put the units in there or you're not going to get the right units for the time. You've got kilometers on the top for distance, kilometers per hour on the bottom for speed, cancel out where you can, so those kilometers cancel out, and you're just left with hours. And in fact, that is a unit for time. So just put this into your calculator. 270 divided by 108 is 2.5, and it's going to take you two and a half hours to drive that distance. Let's try another one. This time hit the pause button and try it yourself, and I'm going to show you the answer. Okay, I'm going to assume that you did that. In this case, we were asked how far. How far is a distance question. So I'm going to calculate that by multiplying speed times time. And I have both speed and time. I've got speed, 70 miles an hour, and time, 6 hours. So I multiply those out, 70 times 6, not forgetting that I need the units, and that I've got to cancel where I can, I'm going to end up, once hours are canceled, with just miles, which is what I wanted because distance can be measured in miles. 70 times 6 is 420. The distance is 420 miles. One more. Hit the pause button, try this yourself, and then I'll show you the answer. Okay, in this case, we're being asked for speed, so cover that up and I'm going to figure out speed by doing distance divided by time. 
plugging those in, distance divided by time, well, there's my distance, 100 meters, and there's my time, 9.6 seconds. And neither of these units will cancel, but that's okay because meters per second is a perfectly good unit for speed. So I'm going to end up with 100 divided by 9.6. My calculator tells me that's about 10.4 meters per second, and that is how fast Usain Bolt ran back in the Olympics. Okay, from here forward, I'm going to give you some sample problems. If you can figure out the answer, you can fast forward to the next green slide after this. If you, uh, if you don't get the answer, then I would like you to watch the video and see how the answer is calculated. Here's that first question. Hit the pause button, read it to yourself, and I'll show you the answer in just a second. Okay, the right answer for this one is B. If you got that, go ahead and fast forward to the next green slide. If not, here's the explanation. Again, using that distance speed tri time triangle, I cover up S because I am asked for speed. So distance over time is the right answer. Next question. Once again, hit the pause button. And when you come back, I'm going to show you the answer. If you got that answer, then you can fast forward to the next one. But make sure you have the units and not just the number right. Okay, I'm going to assume that you did that. Here's the answer, 1,355 kilometers. Like I said, don't assume that I'm going to give you full credit if all you wrote down was 1,355. You have to have the kilometers in there, too. If you did not get that answer, here's the explanation. Again, using the triangle, I'm asked how far, so I'm asked for distance. I'm going to calculate my answer by doing speed times time. And that's 271 for speed, 5 for time. I put the units in there. I cancel out these hours. And I'm going to be left with kilometers, which is a perfectly sensible unit for how far. 271 times 5 is 1,355. And again, make sure that you've got kilometers in there for your answer. Okay, next one. Here's the question. Go ahead, pause, see if you can figure out this answer. All right, I'm going to assume that you're ready for this answer. you have this answer, great, 552 divided by 552 kilometers per hour. Make sure you've got the units as well as the 552. If you do have this complete answer, that's great, and that's the last problem in the video. If not, here's the explanation. Being asked how fast, I cover up S. I've got distance divided by time, and I plug in the distance and time information that I'm given. And I'm going to end up with units in kilometers per hour. That makes sense. That is a speed unit. Calculator tells me that that divides out to be 552 kilometers per hour. As I said, that's the end of the video. Come in with any questions that you have. I have lots more problems like this I can give you if you need them. I look forward to seeing you in class.